Hi, I'm Mike Brown, an internationally recognised photographer, trainer and biker. This photography tip is a snippet from one of my popular photo biker videos. If you would like to see the whole video, click the link in the top right corner of your screen or go to the description area below where you will find a link for you to binge the entire series. So, bike unpacked and positioned. How cool does that look with that road going off up behind it? Imagine how that would look with a really long lens as opposed to the wide angle of the GoPro. Now then, I want you to see the Gareth Harford method. I've got my stuff unpacked and laying around. I just had to chase that reflector all across the forest because the wind blew out. I'm not sure this is gonna work. I'm just gonna put you down here so you can see the bike up close. I'm going to get the reflector. If the wind doesn't blow it away, watch what happens when I scoop some light up. There, and off, and there. I hope you can see it in the camera because it makes such a difference. Okay, so what I've got to do now is try and make this stay here. Look, you can see, look, the wind is blowing it around all over the place. I think that is in the right place. We just gotta hope that it stays there. Now, why am I walking further away? Because I want to use a longer lens. Can I get that reflector out? I don't know. Now the reflectors flip around the other way in the wind. Oh boy. When I turn around, it will be there. Positive thought. Yes, I'm a long way away. How are we going to lose the reflector and the stand? Well, it should be pretty easy because I'm using a long lens, which gives me a narrow field of view. So we can see the reflector and the stand and my jury rig thing. Now we don't want all that sky in there, do we? So what we've got to do is start extending that focal length, make the lens longer and now it's disappeared. And now we've lost the reflector as well. So hopefully we're good to go. Now, what are our tones going on in there? Most of that is mid gray. We should be good with what the light meter tells us it should be. And our shutter speed is 125 at f6.4 400 ISO. I'm gonna open the aperture a little so that I can speed up the shutter speed a little because I don't want to get camera shake. And let's try that. That's not bad, <laughs> that's not bad. I like the brightness in the background. The old girl's looking cool. I'm gonna take one more shot for you without the reflector. Oh, well, there you go, that's easy to do it without the reflector now, isn't it? It's fallen over. Same exposure, same scenario, no reflector. And let's have a look. So that's no reflector. That is with reflector. So, so much nicer, isn't it? This is awesome. Right, onwards and upwards. 